if the question asks you to maximize or minimize, we always need to have a quadratic equation. That's the key, is if you're asked for a maximum problem, you're going to be establishing a quadratic function. So here's a quadratic function that's established. Here's the graph of the quadratic. And the minimum or the maximum is always going to be the vertex. Now, when we're doing these word problems, we aren't necessarily going to be graphing a quadratic. We're not going to be drawing and determining the vertex. But remember, if a quadratic's in this form, we can tell that the vertex is at 2 and negative 2. So we can tell that right off the bat just by looking at the equation. So it's really about the equation, the quadratic function that we're concerned about. And the best way to do these is do some examples. So here's the first one. The sum of two numbers is 60. Their product is a maximum. Find the two numbers. So it looks fairly straightforward. It's pretty simple. Well, what we always want to do with word problems is first establish what we don't know. And we're going to define our variables. So we're going to say, let's let A equal the first number. Because we know there are two numbers. So we're going to let A equal the first number. And we're going to let B equal the second number. So right off the bat, I have my variables defined. Now we're going to use the information in the word problem. So first sentence tells us, the sum of the two numbers is 60. OK, so we can figure out what the sum is. And remember, sum just means that A plus B is going to equal 60. Now, so far, it looks like a linear system of equations. But here is where the quadratic part comes in. Their product is a maximum. So let's remember that product means multiplication. So when we multiply these two numbers together, we get a maximum. Now, this is the big key. We're going to write an equation. And I'm going to say that P for product is going to equal a times b. So that is their product. Now, we have our equations here. We have two variables and a solution. We have two variables and this unknown p. What do we do now? Well, remember, when we have maximum or minimum problems, we need to create a quadratic equation. And this is the key. So this is the big key here is that we want to keep around the equation that we're trying to maximize. So we're trying to maximize the product. So that tells us we're going to create a quadratic equation with product in it. So we need to keep this equation around. Now, to keep this equation around, we have two variables here. We have an A and we have a B. So what we're going to do is we're going to take equation 1, the first one here, we're going to solve for one of the variables and put it in here into our product equation. So we have an equation that only has product and one variable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to solve it for, uh, let's solve it for B. It doesn't really matter which one. So of course, we'll just move A to the other side. So B is going to equal 60 minus A. So now I'm going to take my product equation and everywhere there was a b, I'm going to replace it with 60 minus a. Now we can distribute this in. And we're going to get 60a minus a squared. And now, when we get to this point, we have a quadratic function. We have a quadratic equation. We know it's quadratic because it has this squared value right here. So this is our equation. Now we need to figure out the maximum. And remember, this is in standard form. We want to put it in general form. Of course, what I'm going to do first is just switch things around. So negative a squared plus 60a is we need to complete the square. So we're going to take out the negative. We're going to get a squared minus 60a. And half of 60 is 30. 
and it's negative 60, so it would be negative 30. So when we square that, we're going to get plus 900 and minus 900. And we're going to keep the positive around, so a squared minus 60a plus 900. That negative 900, we're going to kick out, multiply by the negative on the outside, and it becomes plus 900. And so now we have an equation where product is equal to negative a minus 30 squared plus 900. Now, all we have is we have our quadratic equation. But now we need to figure out what the maximum is. Uh, so we don't need to find the maximum. We have to actually find out what the two numbers are. We know where the maximum is going to occur. The maximum is going to occur when a is equal to 30. Now, this is the thing to keep in mind here, is if we compare this to our other form of our quadratic, y equals a x minus h squared plus k, where's our vertex? Well, our vertex in this particular example is going to be at 30 and 900. But that 30 and 900, that 30 represents A, and that 900 represents P. So all we've done is we've changed these variables. Instead of being Y, it's a P. So instead of being Y, it's a P. And instead of being X, it's an A. So that tells us that the maximum is going to occur when A is equal to 30, and the maximum product is going to be 900. So we need to go back and answer the question, though. Because the question asks us, what is the what are the two numbers? So we know that A equals 30, and B is going to have to equal 60 minus 30, which of course is going to be 30 as well. So the two numbers are 30 and 30, just like that. Now, those are the steps that we follow for every type of example. Every time we're trying to maximize or minimize, we first have to establish our quadratic. Well, even before that, we define our variables. Take our equations, determine what we're maximizing. In this case, it was product. Establish our equation for product. Complete the square and answer the question.